What's up, my name is Michael, I'm a teacher, and this is Ragnar Lothbrok versus Richard the Lionheart, epic rap battles of history. I love history, I'm a Swede, I named this channel after goddamn Vikings. I like my own history, like Swedish history, especially Vikings and Old Norse mythology, etc. I don't know that much about British medieval history, I know a little bit because I'm interested in it. I know that Lionheart was also called Richard the First. He lived somewhere around 12th century. He went on a lot of crusades. I don't know that much about him. And Ragnar Lothbrok is very famous because of the show Vikings. A lot of people didn't know about him and his family until that. Still very little is known about him. We don't know what's mythology or what's real. We know about his son, Bjorn Jansida, Bjorn Ironside which apparently he's buried somewhere in Sweden in a lake called Mälaren. There is an island and supposedly he's buried there. I would really like to go and visit that one day. But we don't have the remains of Ragnar anywhere and we don't know what's true or not about him. But supposedly he died on the British Isles, Northumbria I believe it was, around the year 800-ish. And he was sort of like a Danish slash Swedish figure because our maps look different back then. You could say he was from Denmark, but he also spent a lot of time in Sweden. The part of Sweden that I live in nowadays used to be Denmark back in those days. A lot of you guys probably know more than me on this subject. I don't teach about Vikings. I don't teach about British medieval history. Please educate me, correct me if I get something wrong. I want to learn. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms. Is that a game? I never heard of it. All right. Richard the Lion! I'm Richard the First from the Third Crusade. That only leaves room for you in second place. The chivalrous swinger of the sword and mace. And I kill you when I spit like a pit full of snakes. I'm the number one dick, rising up to make you real small. My battery ram slams through your shield wall. I'll announce at the next of your things that I'm chopping through your family like boneless wings. Of course you got avenged by a kid with no bones. Your own story and... So that's Ivor the Boneless. I know there are a lot of references and clues in these videos, but I'm not that familiar with them. So please educate me. Let me know what did I miss? Did something go over my head? I noticed a British castle in the background. I, I so badly want to go to uh, Great Britain and just wander around and visit as many castles as possible and learn about their history. I don't like spending time on the beach. I, I enjoy visiting and learning about things. Anyways, uh, sorry. Let's rewind a bit. Here we go. Ram slams through your shield wall. I'll announce at the next of your things that I'm chopping through your family like boneless wings. Of course you got avenged by a kid with no bones. Your own story ended worse than Game of Thrones. Your son killed your ex, your ex killed your wife. I'm the Lion King, man, but that's a messed up circle of life. Half-ass head taps can't be condoned. It's like you raided the face of Post Malone. I'm scared of no foe. I'm back. Is that a reference to tattoos? So tattoos were actually prevalent back in those days. We found evidence that Vikings and old pe Norse people used to tattoo themselves. They had pieces of bone and they used to smack it into the skin. I would like to try that one day. By the Trinity, I'll conquer you on my day off like you were Sicily. Threatening to conquer Ragnar is bold for a king who got whacked by a ten-year-old. I'll sacrifice you to Odin while drinking horns of me. Good thing you hold the red cross because it's all you're going to need. Meat is actually pretty good. If you ever get the chance to try it, do so. It's like sweet wine-ish. You could probably buy it somewhere. Go look for it. Sacrifice you to own while drinking horns of me. Good thing you hold the Red Cross, cause that's all you're going to need. You built your army by raising English taxes. I raised my army taxing English asses with my axes. <laughs> Who are you to talk about the circle of life? Your old lady can't feel the love on any night. <laughs> your only son was illegitimate. You out of the side. Twist your spine like the end of the plant. I'm just a warrior, I'm not the linguist, but I think the king of England should probably speak English. You took accurate. I think I get that reference. Uh, he spent a lot of time in France, uh, Lionheart. Even though he was an English king, he spent most of his life on either crusades or in battle, imprisoned or in France. In the southern part of France, I believe it was. He did not spend a lot of time in England. So that's, yeah, I guess that's what they're referring. Chaffa, like a Referencing, referencing, Jesus, English. Piece of cake, but never attacked Jerusalem for Christ's sake. We saw the Holy Land, but couldn't go all the way. We should call it the Crusade of Richard the First Base. Sail back north with your barbarian goons. Because I'm tearing down your legacy, leaving it in ruins. Your real self next to your legend disappoints. I see you shaking in your shaggy little pants like soy. Who invented the royal me? We. Who's the predominantly fictional MC? Lee. <laughs> You're a wannabe, monami. Kneel down and honor me. Richard coming through. 
in the end like Sean Connery. The devil coronated blood and gore gore me. You might have the axe, but I make a body spray. Playing hot to sober came and I struck like a cobra. If I wanted to fight loser Vikings, I'd go to Minnesota. You know, American football reference? I don't watch American football, but I know there is a team called Viking something. I, yeah, never got into it. To fight me? Take off the tin shirt! I'll be waiting in my birthday suit! Going berserk! Ding, ding, dong! Morning bells won't above me! I'm sorry, I paused a lot. So I was thinking about the berserk thing. It's just that I'm passionate about this and I want to share things and I want to ask questions. I want to learn whatever. I don't know if this is true or they are just theories, but yeah, people went berserk with the help of let's say just a magic mushrooms maybe not necessarily mushrooms i don't remember but they found things and they ate it and they gave them a rush you were not scared you did not feel as pain probably or not as much as you were supposed to already back in those days like a thousand years ago people used substances to get them ready for battle. Even nowadays, people use that. Another famous account of that is Nazis during World War II, uh, Blitzkrieg. They used illegal substances, keep them awake, to go for longer periods of time without sleeping, not feeling pain or sorrow, etc. At the break of dawn, and I'm putting you to sleep like your brother John. Living monks and chunks on Northumbrian lawns, is I'm the old father's spawn. You couldn't even beat a salad in a fight. <laughs> You went from chain mail to chain up in jail To mommy trained England to pay for your bail With no king's ransom, we'll save you from these bars, son I'm eating you alive like the gangrene you died from I, one, one thing that I really like about these videos that is different from other videos that I react to is that it has subtitles. My English is okay. I'm not an expert, but I can hold a conversation. I can make YouTube videos. I can talk about the things that are interesting to me, but it makes such a difference when I can listen to it and read the subtitles as well. Uh, who won? Lyrically, disses, etc. They were close. I didn't see a big difference. I'd pick Ragnar any day of the week. I'm a Swede. I have Viking ancestry, which probably a lot of you guys also have <laughs> because we were all over the place. Thank you to Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring this video. Oh, Rise of Kingdoms is a mobile real-time strategy game. Strategy! It's been on the shelves for nearly three years and has gained worldwide popularity. Worldwide! In Rise of Kingdoms, you can choose from 12... Yeah, if you're new here, I, I don't skip other people's uh, ads. ...historical civilizations. Recruit hundreds of real historical generals. It's not right. Train special so, soldiers. Let's just get collect through it. resources, develop technology, and build your own dream city. Dream city. Rise of Kingdoms is now adding the Viking civilization to the game. You can choose Ragnar Lothbrok or Bjorn Ironside and lead them to conquer the world. The world. Click on the link in the description to download the game now. Thank you again to Rise of Kingdoms, and thank you for watching. Yeah! All uh, right, that's it, right? Holy smack, they really know how to make a good video. I've seen some of the rap battles. I, not many, like three or four. I reacted to two. I've seen two on my own. This is maybe my fifth. I love them. There are some I really want to see, but I've kept them because I, I think they are a good reaction content. But with any other video, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. And if you want to make me the coolest teacher in school, you can subscribe. My students would love it. You don't have to. It's a free world. Take care and bye-bye.